Hello there everyone, Lord Butt here, welcome back to another episode on Friend or Foe. Uh, today we have a few different things we're gonna do, but first of firsts, I don't know what that is. That is, um, certainly new. I didn't build that, so let's go check it out. Now this sign here, uh, that was left there by Nosy in a video of his, so that's pretty fun. Maybe I'll leave it up with this. I don't know what this is, um... Not gonna lie though, I mean it's a nice, it's a kind of nice looking tower. If I'm gonna be honest, I like the barrels. Is there anything in them? Uh, they look like they're empty to me. Oh, all right, let's uh, let's hop up here. Got some emerald blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and just snatch those. Eight of them actually. Uh, it looks like there's something up there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and build up here and see what we got. Um, apparently nothing. Nice. Well, hey, uh, it looks like there's some gold blocks up here. I'll go ahead and take those. Um, definitely. <laughs> well, uh, whoever left this tower here, uh, thank you, and I hope you didn't want those because they are mine now. Um, so that was pretty cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is I actually want to go do some netherite mining. Uh, I actually just saw Nosy's video, and he went and did some netherite mining, and that got me thinking. We have one netherite scrap. And this is, as far as our netherite gear goes, that's what we got. So, I was thinking, I need some more netherite as well. I haven't done uh, that much, I guess, netherite mining. Um, I know I don't really have the stuff to make a lot of TNT. But possibly, I could make some beds. Alright, it looks like I have some random beds here, which I think um, I was using for, like, villager breeding, but... If I breed the villagers, then I don't have discounted prices, so I'm not going to do that. A sheep. Alright, I found one. Alright, so let's try and bring this sheep. Or, oh, there's actually two of them. Ah, oh, there's actually four sheeps. Okay, this is, like, actually really too good. Alright, I got some wool from them, and they're already getting me more. Are you kidding? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and sleep really quick, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some more wool. And then, yeah, then we'll be right back. Alright, so I've breeded up these sheeps a few times, and I've sheared them a few times, and here is the wool count. And they are taking just, like, the absolute longest time in the world to, um, like, uh, like, actually grow back their wool. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing for a little bit. I'm gonna take these beds that I do have. And, uh... Basically, I'm going to get prepared to, well, uh, to go into the nether, and, yeah, and go find some ancient debris. Alright, well, uh, I got some fire resistance potions, I got all the stuff I'm going to need to craft more beds and such, and I think, uh, let's just double check these guys. Yeah, alright, well, I think I have pretty much as prepared as I can be to go into the nether. Uh, okay, that actually terrified me. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm just being trolled a little bit. That didn't set anything off, so I think I'll be okay. Hey, uh, let's like third pressure plate, which is pretty epic. I think I'm just being trolled though. Yeah, I'm just being trolled. There's nothing down here, just a crater. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, splash myself with fire resistance. Six minutes. Um, and yeah, let's find a good place to do some ancient debris mining. And I'm just going to kind of dig a tunnel down this way. And then I think... oh. Hello there. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, just a one vein there. Alright, I'm gonna dig a tunnel down this way. And then... Oh, jeez. 
Alright, well, I guess uh, we'll be going that way then. Get out of here. I'm not afraid of no piglins. I'm not afraid of any piglins. Alright, I think this is a big enough tunnel. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and uh, put our bed like this and boom. And there's some ancient debris. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Alright, let's go. Boop. Wait. Oh, there's two pieces. Okay, so I must be like right on the edges of a chunk. Um, I don't know if I'm able to turn on chunk borders on Bedrock Edition like I can on Java. So, there's no way to tell like where I'm at. I'm so glad these things are fireproof. But, hey. Oh, and there's two. Oh my gosh. Alright. So, we've already found four pieces. So, we've already gotten ourselves a netherite ingot. And, uh, we haven't even had to craft any beds yet. So, I mean, hey. Um, we're doing pretty good for ourselves already. Uh, there's some gold here. Um, which, you know, uh, what we'll do is we'll drop some of this other stuff that we don't exactly need or want and uh, I think we'll mine some of this gold <laughs> aha what do we have over there what do we have over here ancient debris I think I just missed that okay well there's uh, six ancient debris. Alright, so after all of that, I only ended up finding these six ancient debris, which is kind of um, kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. So another good way that I found to find them is just to dig the walls like this. Um, I found a lot of ancient debris this way. Oh. Nice. All right, there we go. And there's another one right there. Epic. All right. Uh, I guess technically there could be another. The durability on the pickaxe though isn't looking super hot. I basically just started just mining in one direction. So yeah, I'm gonna end up coming and probably blowing up this whole tunnel later on. Um, I need to make some kind of creeper farm. Uh, so I can get gunpowder more efficiently, uh, so I can use TNT, because TNT is a much more efficient um, way of blowing this stuff up. I'm going to mine up all this quartz ore, um, because I can fortune this quartz. All of right, we're back up at the base, so let's go up in here, let's uh, go ahead and... Here's a furnace with some charcoal. Let's go ahead and just put the ancient debris in there. That should be enough. And we will go ahead and put that in there. Let's go ahead and take out our netherite. Awesome. And let's go ahead and get some of this too. And we are going to craft ourselves some netherite ingots. I'm going to put this on the pants and on the shoes. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get those pants. Let's get those shoes. Awesome. Awesome. So now we're almost fully netherited up. Um, as far as our armor goes. Which is pretty epic. Not going to lie. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to place the ladders like right here. Hello. There we go. We're just gonna break that block out. The ladder, like, right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and put torches right on these posts here. Uh, I think that should keep it nice and bright. And we're just gonna put a floor right here so I don't fall through. And then I can come up here and kind of survey my base. It's going to be kind of a nice 
um, a nice area to look at the base from because I am going to be building more here and over here as well. Uh, I may even build stuff over on this side of the tower as well. So this is definitely going to be a good way to kind of, you know, just look at uh, look at the stuff I've built. Alright, so I mended up the pickaxe by doing some villager trading, actually. And in the meantime, it seems like pretty much all of the sheep have gotten ready to uh, give me some wool. Uh, which is great, except um, I do don't think that's nearly gonna be enough wool to make like enough beds to really make an ancient debris mining trip that much worth it but we can go ahead and shear them anyway and see what we get we may have to shear them a couple times how are we looking uh we have nine so that's gonna be about three beds right there now the biggest issue with this is the actual grass takes more time to grow back than, like, the sheep eat the grass quicker than uh, the grass can grow back. That's basically the issue with doing it like that. That is pretty much the issue with this, is that the sheep eat the grass quicker than the grass grows, and also the babies tend to eat the grass Um and I can't actually shear them, so they basically just take away from the adult sheep that are in here. But that's fine, because this isn't meant to be like a super efficient farm. It's literally just a hole full of sheep. So, um, there's two things I can make. Um, and I'm going to make one of the two of them in the next episode. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go comment down below. Should I make a automatic wool farm or should i make a creeper farm um yeah so make sure you go down in the comments down below and pick which one do you want to see uh because that's what we'll build in the next episode and yeah if people if people don't comment then i will decide myself or i will just not do either and yeah you'll have to see this disgusting blue helmet for basically the rest of eternity so we have one final thing to do in today's episode and that is uh to buy some leads from this guy well uh yep yeah, that was a good uh good lead buying trip and yeah and then he left so yeah that's um that's what we had there so if you liked the video of course go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and yeah that's gonna be it for me i think that's friend or foe episode like nine or eight or something like that i don't know why this horse is way over here but anyway that's gonna be it for me for now so until next time goodbye everybody